Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about some progress on Jeff Lutz's new 57 Chevy and an update on his OG 57. Now, photo going to go directly to their photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Games Race Series and all the other Street Outlaws shows. So, Jeff Lutz has had or has a couple of 57 Chevys. We are counting the OG car. The evil twin that got sold, the yellow 57 that crashed, the new 57, and the streetcar 57. So, five 57 Chevys, all twin turbo, and it all started with the OG car. That car ran Drag Week a lot. It actually appeared on Street Outlaws at the beginning of uh, the show. I think it was season one or season two. Now, obviously, the yellow car ran a lot on NPK and in the street show. And now he has his new 57 Chevy. I've talked about it quite a bit. And it was built by DMC Racing. And as you may see, it's going to have a big block Chevy. 540 cubic inch. Basically, the same combination that runs, or similar combination that runs in the GTO. And ran in Jeff Lutz's Pro Mod. And in the uh, yellow 57 Chevy. So it's a proven combination. It makes a lot of power. It's not as reliable under big boost levels as a Hemi. But it still makes a lot of power. And in NPK, even though this car won't be an NPK, it is eligible for a pretty significant weight break. That is why the GTO runs so good. So this car is going to run on the street. It's either going to run on a small tire since Every show right now on Street Outlaws is on a small tire, or it's going to run on a big tire if they ever go back to big tire street racing. I've even heard that America's List will be on small tires as well. Now, Jeff Lutz's OG 57 Chevy will run Drag Week at some point again. And this car had a 632 cubic inch big block Chevy many years ago when it ran in Drag Week, but now it's getting an LS motor. Now, this is an all-steel car, and it used to weigh, I believe, 3,800 pounds. So, it was very heavy, and it still ran in the sixes in drag week in the quarter miles. So, definitely a really cool car, and it started, basically, the 57 Chevy trend for Jeff Lutz. And the new car, obviously, very light. It's going to be very fast, and it's going to run on the street. And it's basically going to be a replacement of the yellow 57. And this car will be yellow as well. So, can't wait to see it done, and let's see how Jeff Lutz does in 2023.